In this activity, you and your classmates will be acting as routers in a connected network of eight routers. But you'll only have direct paths to three of those seven other routers. So in the activity, you can only speak to those three other people. You'll have a series of conversations with the three routers you are connected to to exchange information about paths to other routers in the network. These conversations are simulating how real routers learn about paths to other routers in the network that they are not directly connected to. Often it's easier to understand an activity by seeing a demo rather than reading about it. And you're about to see a set of two conversations, one between routers C and F, and then a conversation between C and D. Hey, I'm router F. I'm router C. Uh, and since you're F, I'm going to be filling out the third column of my sheet to see your best paths to the other routers in the network. Do you have any connections to router A? I do not yet have any connections to router A. Neither do I. What about router B? I have a connection of 10 to router B. Okay, I'm going to write that down. So it costs me 2 to get to you and it costs you 10 to get to B. So it costs me 12 to get to B going through you. Um, you are router C, so I know how to get to you. What about router D? Do you have a connection? I do. Uh, my shortest connection is five. That means I can get to D with a cost of seven. What about router E? Do you have a path? I have no paths to E yet. Okay, I do with a cost of one. Okay, so I can get to E through F with a cost of one. It takes me two to get to you, plus the one it takes you to get to E. So that's three to get to E through you. Perfect. I'm router F and I know how to get to myself, but what about router G? Do you have a path? I do not have a path to G. Okay, I have a path to G with a cost of eight. Okay, so it takes me two to get to you, plus eight then for you to get to G, so that's Two plus eight is 10 to get to G. Perfect. What about router H? I have no paths to H. Me either. Okay. Okay, so you're router C. I'm router C. I'm router D. Okay. Uh, do you have a path to A? I still do not have a path to A. Okay, well, I can get there at a cost of four. Okay, so through D, cost me five to get to you, and then cost you four. So five plus four is nine, so now it takes me nine to get to A through you. Do you have a path to B? I do. It's a cost of ten. Okay, so it costs me five to get to you, plus ten is fifteen. I also have a path to B, and it costs me six. Okay, so it takes me five to get to you, the six it takes you, so that's eleven. So that's not my cheapest, but I do have a route through you now. Um, you are C, so I know how to get to you, yep. and I am D, and you know how to get to me. What about E? I have a route through to E of a cost of three. Three. Okay, so five plus three is eight. Uh, that is cheaper than my current one. I can get there at a cost of ten. Okay, so it takes me five to get to you, it takes you ten. So through you, I could get to E with a cost of 15, but that's not cheaper than my current one. Do you have a path to F? I do. It's a cost of 2. Okay, so 5 plus 2 is 7 for me. Uh, what about a path to G? I have a path to G. It's a cost of 10. 10 is 5 plus 10 is 15. And then do you have a path to H? I have no path to H. Alright, I can get to H at a cost of 12. Okay, so it costs you 12 and it takes me 5 to get to you. So 17 to get to H through you. Three. Okay. Remember that in the activity, you can only talk to your three connected routers. But you may find that if you go back to a router a second time, they'll have new information about a shortest path that they've learned about. Have fun!